Hello and welcome back to the Tartan Couch. I'm Dave Robbo. This is Matt Lynch and we're here at the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games trials. And Lynchy, welcome back. Thanks. It's good to be here. Uh, the sun's out, if you can see behind us. Uh, still a little bit windy, but I think the weather's going to be good. There's going to be some great races today. So we've already had some good runs already, but it's going to be a big night ahead with the first heat in the women's 800 metres. Kelly and Catherine here, they're really pulling away from Alice at the moment. 100 metres to go. These girls can just really switch it off now. It's going to see who can make the last 50 as cruisy as they can, but they're really starting to open up as well. Trying to get a nice fast run out, looking for a run around. Looks like it's going to be around 2.05 for these girls. It is 2.05.94 for Kelly. Catherine in second place and Alice Platten in third. Uh, it was great to watch and definitely those two, um, they're going to be great in the final. It's going to be a really, really good race here strength you'd think over the later stages of the 800 meters she's having a look around she's pretty comfy there rosie kelly just behind her tia brady making a fast run at the end could find herself in the third position but this is going to be a little bit slower than the first heat 208 96 for Brittany. rosie kelly in second uh, looks like we probably won't have those in there in fourth but Wassel's moving wide with Kachan. These two are going to take the top two automatic spots, but Bronte Gaines is moving very quick on the outside, staking her claim on one of those spots. Georgia Wassel pushing past Kajan right near the end. And they're going to finish in a 207.55. Might be just fast enough for Bronte Gaines on the outside for Victoria to get through. We'll have to wait and see the official results to find out who are the fastest non-automatic qualifiers. Coming up next, Lynchy, and great to see Dylan Dudley there. You can pick him out. The automatic qualifiers coming through now, but uh, hasn't been easy the last 800, I don't think. No, they've definitely started slow and had to wind it up as the race goes on, but Bretton Rowe looks to have this race all sewn up for himself. Tom Forthorpe and James Hansen, they're going to take the automatic spots. 3.47.36, which isn't too bad. They've definitely turned it up at the end to get those times, but they're your first three. Did athletes miss out, but if someone gets through, they deserve to make it in there. Jeff Rice is looking around, trying to do as least little amount of work as they can. But there's number six, Ryan Geard, moving very quick. He's moved up on the outside and taken the third position off Jack Stapleton there, and he's going to find himself automatically qualified. 348.90 for Risley. Josh Wright in second, and Ryan Geard left his run home to the final, and then the next three fastest times. There we go, Saunders has slipped back to fourth place at the moment. Gregson's finding another gear here, pulling away, checking it out. He's moved almost out into lane three at the moment. He's in lane three. Now he's in lane four. And now he's in lane five, and he's moved out very wide. He's in lane six, I think, at the moment when he finished. Plummer into the second, leading to third, 352-31. So the slowest of the heats, but up on the board is the progressive scores so far for the women's Heptathlon, we're up to the last event. Porsche Pink from New Zealand, 4,846. 4, Sophie Stanwell, 4,816. So the Australian is just 30 points there down on the New Zealand. If Sophie Stanwell can take out the title, she will find herself automatically selected for the Commonwealth Games over in Glasgow. It's only 100 metres away. Love to see this. We've had very few good heptaslets coming through, so certainly last hundred here, we'd love to see big B qualifier. There's a bit of hurt on Sophie's face. Kiara Rodingas from WA coming home very quickly, but Sophie Stanwell, I think she's just got to get across the line. And there we go. I think she can be confirmed as the national champion. Now, Sophie, you wore this in Newcastle. And now you can put it back on again. Officially. Officially. There you go. It looks good. Medals presented by Glennis Nunn, who was a gold medalist herself in the heptathlon at the Olympic Games. There's Ashley Hamilton, the second place getter. Third overall, but the second place getter. And Lauren Foote from South Australia taking out the bronze fourth. Overall. Third Australian. A Porsche being second overall, taking out the silver medal.
its fastest times. But while that is happening and those athletes are making their way out to behind the blocks, there they are. There we go, Breen out very quick. Haley Butler very fast on the outside. Monica Brennan in third. Looks like Melissa Breen's going to take this out. Monica Brennan coming over very slow, early quick at the end, but so is Laura Turner. 11.63 with a one. Mel Breen, as she went down the tunnel there, she said it didn't feel like a, a tail. Quick start there from Sally Pearson. Left the New Zealand, Livy Wilson in the, behind there. Sam Geddes running very well, but the other New Zealander, Costa on the outside, should take the other automatic spot. There is Sally Pearson, the, the New Zealander, Costa. 11.50 with a 2.2 tailwind. I don't there she is, very, very fast. The Japanese athlete on the inside as well, moving quickly. Sarah Busby from Australia on the outside, and the Hong Kong athlete there as well. And the other New Zealand, but it looks like Tuia Whistle taking it out very fast. 11.65 with a still win. We Junior champs in the hurdles. There they go, Ash Whitaker out very, very quickly there. Christine Wern on the outside, moving well as well. It looks like Ash Whitaker coming home very, very strong and pulling away from the rest of the wheel. It's going to be tight between Daniela Roman and Christina Wern. 11.64 with a 1.5 tank to split then. But while we're waiting, we're going to... Lanes 3, 4, 5 and 6, ones to look out for. There's Michelle Cutmore moving out very quick. It's going to be tight between Burt, Gain and Graf. But Michelle Cutmore moving away. Graf coming home very strong at the end. Can she catch up? But Michelle Cutmore is moving away. There she's got She's got it. 11.86. Graf. Tim Dries and congratulations. He's got his spot to Glasgow. Well done once again, mate, and we look forward to seeing you over there, chucking it as far as you can. Cheers. Thanks, Robert. Well done. Thanks, Up on the medal podium right now, there's Tim Driesen receiving his medal for the gold in the Men's Hammer Throw Championships. Matt Denny getting the silver medal. With a throw of 65 13, 67 16 for Tim Dryson. And in third place from Tasmania, Hugh Peacock. Taking out the bronze. Tim Dryson automatically qualifying himself for the Commonwealth Games in Australia this season with a PB of 10.38. Ben Jaworski, Jin Su. Off very quick. Jin getting out of the blocks as well as the Hong Kong athlete on the inside. Hammond having to work hard, hard at the end, but Jin streaking away. Running very, very fast. Hammond taking it out as well. 10.50. Beautiful. Performing at the right time. Ben Jaworski, 10.69. Very fast start from the middle of the field. Vanderspeck. Gamble moving very quickly on the outside. And Leithart up on the inside. These two should show their class and get through nice and comfortable. Leithart streaking away. Great running. 10.39. Beautiful. 0.07. 10.66. Nice and even start there from the on the outside. The Hong Kong athlete, but Joel B is coming through very quick. Aaron Blesen's working hard. Jared Geddes on the outside working hard as well. But Joel B looks like he's taking it. Ooh, actually, Jared Geddes, 10.58. Aaron Blesen, 10.83. While we're on this, we're going to get some big throws out. Danny McConnell getting into the circle there from Tasmania for her third round throw. In the women's hammer throw final. Another big throw getting very, very... And here is your national champion for the hammer throw for the women. Lara Nelson taking the gold medal. We just had a chat with her on the tartan couch. She's booked her seat to the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. And in second place and winner of the silver medal is Gabrielle Neighbour from Victoria with a throw of 62-47. And from New South Wales, winner of the bronze medal in third place, we have Alex Hulley. Goodman in six. He's entering the home straight in front of the rest of the competitors. He's holding on. Timothy Foster's fighting back. Can he find that little bit more left in the tank? I think he has. I think he's found it. That's Harding. He's going to take second. Timothy Foster is going to be first across the line. And the Victorian in third. Queensland fourth. Oe Irwan Oshko. Lane four. Jamie Howe. Second in the moment, sorry. And the athlete on the inside, Chloe Irwan Oshko. Coming third. 
But Stephanie Schweitzer, she's going to take out the win. Very fast running there, 64-92. Jamie Howe in second place. Chloe Onoshko in third. Alicia Burt, Aaron Cleaver. In the men's first semi-final of the 400 metres. Much anticipated. Alex Beck is moving along. He's gone early. Beck's going hard. Kermon looks like he might have gone a little bit too hard too early. Sean Rowe still at the back. John Stephens is coming home strong. Tama Toki, can he hold on? But Alex Beck streaking away, running nice and quick, switching off 46 64. John Stephenson in second place. And Steve Solomon, this is one of his favourite parts of the race. He's coming through the 300 metres. Kurt Mulcai still on the inside, had a great bend there. Craig Burns holding on. Dylan Grant coming home nice and strong. It's going to be interesting to see who are the first three. Steve Solomon looking around. He's going to take it out. 46-81. Burns, Grant and Mulcai take up third, second, third and fourth. Not as fast as the first heat, but Solomon looked like he was taking it nice and easy down there. Solomon, Solo, welcome back to Australia. Great to see you racing and looking good, mate. Thank you very good, yeah. Feeling great. Really nice to be back home. Got a lot of friends and family come down from Sydney and both from Melbourne, so hopefully tomorrow I can rest up, recover well tonight and come out and run fast tomorrow. Excellent, mate. We won't hold you up too long. Get in, get in the sheds, Thank get in there, warm down, Thank and you. we'll see you out here tomorrow night. Thanks for spending time on the Tartan couch. That's Steve Solomon. He's looking good ahead of the final back here tomorrow night. So, Lynchy, here we are with the start. Here he comes into the home straight for the final time. Dane Bird-Smith is going to be the national champion in the 10,000 metres. The first time in 53 years we've had a title in the 10,000 metre walk. So, here he is, only 50 metres to go. What's he going to get? He's going to get just sub 39. There it is. There it is. 38, 57, 16. Well done. He's stoked. What a win for Dane Bird-Smith. Mate, uh, how was it out there tonight? Nice, nice and cool. Probably would have been pretty good conditions for walking, race walking. Yeah, I, I figured it was um, perfect conditions really to come out and have a have a good crack at um, going for a PB. Quick chat with Chris Erickson. Came in second tonight in the men's 10,000 metres race walk. And mate, how was it for you out there? Uh, oh, I was all right. <laughs> uh, not not great, but not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, and then you know worked a full day, and then came out and rolled around for this afternoon. So it's all right. No, enjoying enjoying uh, doing the challenge of working up in the up in the AA and doing help giving back to the sport a bit. Yeah, excellent, mate. And we loved seeing your photo, watching the live stream from overseas a few weeks ago, taking the photo and sending that through. And you had a pretty good uh, event over there. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, there was a few of Aussies who uh, headed up to Japan for the uh, Asian Race Walking Championships. And yeah, whole swag of us walked home with PBs. And uh, it was nice to sit down and watch the Sydney Track Classic on the stream the night before. With Over 60, Lynch. 65. This is Steve Kane unleashing the jab. He's got a good bit of purchase on that as well. That is out there just over the 65. So two big throws there in the men's decathlon. Uh, Stein needs to be within 9 to 10 seconds of Stephen Kane to take out the title and get his ticket to Glasgow. Stephen Kane needs to beat Jake by obviously 9 to 10 seconds. He can take it out as well. Yeah, it's as simple as that. So the ticket, the, the seat on the plane to Glasgow is all on the line here. 68 points in it. Uh, I am also believe, Lynchy, that at the moment it's looking like it's going to be a B qualifier for both the guys. The start line now. And they're away in this deciding event, the men's 1,500 metres. These superhumans of the track and field. Steen Lynchy, uh, he's got, yeah, I, think he, I think he's going to have enough to do it here, Jake Steen. Yeah, I think if he's, if he's got to finish within 10, 9 to 10 seconds of Steve Kane, and if he's in front, he's got that covered easily. It's like some sort of blood sport here, Lynchy. These guys are absolutely on the limit of what their uh, bodies are allowing them to do. What can we see there? Steen is just absolutely finding anything that he can get here. He's got a few metres on Kane. As we see the leader coming through here, he's going to do it very comfortably. This is Nelson. Yeah, there's Nelson. They've got a New Zealander. Coming over the line in second, Kyle Cranston kicking away very quickly there as well. He's got a B qualifier to his name. And look but at this. Cranston comes across. 
There's Brock collapsing across the finish line, and here's Steen and Kane. And there they are, these Warriors. They cross the finish line with absolutely nothing left in the tank. And it's Jake Steen who has done it. He's on his way to Glasgow, Lynchy. He's got his ticket. He's got the B. He's got the win. Those boys had nothing left. You can catch us again back here on the Tartan Couch tomorrow. Uh, that's day three back here. And we're kicking off the live stream at 3 p.m. And you can catch us via athletics.com.au. Catch the live updates on the same website. Get us on Twitter, hashtag Tartan Couch, hashtag AAC14. And it's been a tremendous day two. The, 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 the decathletes have done the job. Jake Steen's put the finishing touches on it. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games Trials.